If you just started your home bakery or you've been doing this for a while and you're feeling stuck about how to market right now, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Amanda and I help bakers like you launch and grow your business without stress, overwhelm, or confusion. If you want more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. All right, so we all know that this year, 2020, has challenged us to reevaluate how we market our bakery. We can't do as many in-person events nowadays, and depending on where you live, there may be restrictions on how and where you can sell. So I'm going to go into three tips of what you can do now to still get your name out there and attract local customers. My first tip is to collaborate or partner with another local vendor. This was honestly one of the best ways for me to get seen by more local clients. Now, you don't want to work with just any vendor. You want to make sure that this company has a very similar audience to yours and that the details for this partnership are clearly communicated because time is money and you don't want to end up wasting your time, energy, and resources on something you've agreed to, but it ends up not helping your business grow or get seen by the right people. There are a couple different ways to partner with a vendor. You can do a giveaway, create a seasonal or exclusive treat box, and you can also be creative with who you choose to work with. This vendor doesn't need to be in the food industry as well. They can be a florist, a photographer. This is especially beneficial if you're in the wedding industry. You can work with other wedding vendors and do a wedding themed collaboration, for instance. I've seen bakers partner with balloon artists during graduation season. I've seen bakers work with florists to create beautiful mini bouquets. And these arrangements can be added onto a cake or you can gift someone. You can even work with a local designer to create custom greeting cards. The possibilities are endless. Just make sure that you are intentional with who you work with and don't be afraid to reach out and pitch your collaboration ideas to multiple vendors. Many of them might not respond or say yes right away, but it's still good to just initiate a conversation through email or Instagram direct message. Introduce yourself, your brand, and talk about this potential collaboration in a way that shows the benefits for both businesses. My second tip is to take advantage of Instagram. If you know me, you know that I love Instagram. I think that it is the number one social media platform for bakers. If you utilize the right local hashtags, you can get found by so many local clients and connect with them through Insta stories and DMs. There are so many features in Instagram that allow you to really engage with and form deep relationships with your audience, which is necessary when building a unique brand and creating a loyal, raving customer base. Instagram is the perfect platform for collaborating with local vendors like I mentioned in our first tip. You can use hashtags to find other local vendors, create a giveaway on Instagram to get more local followers, and I also highly recommend connecting with local food bloggers because their audience appreciates food and will appreciate the delicious desserts that you have to offer. You want to encourage customers to share their experiences with your desserts, tagging you in their posts and their stories. This is amazing word of mouth marketing, and you can even incentivize people to share about your bakery by having them be entered into a giveaway to win a custom product, or they can receive a discount. My last tip is to utilize your website. Now, if you don't have a website yet, I highly encourage you to create one. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, the simpler, the better. 
The reason why I'm such a huge believer in websites is all because of SEO, also known as search engine optimization. This simply means that if someone were to go to Google and search for local bakeries, your website information will have a higher chance of being seen. When you create your website, you want to make sure you add in keywords, such as your location, what you offer, if you deliver, and any other important details like that. Basically, whatever you think your dream customer is searching for on Google, that's what you want to include in your website. Also, having a website helps spread your marketing efforts because you don't want to put all of your energy just into one marketing platform. If you want to see a video of what categories your website needs or what they can include, make sure to click on the video above. All right, so those were my three tips of what you can do right now. But I do want to share one more bit of advice, which is to make sure you always over communicate. You want to be super clear about what you're offering, what your ordering process is like, how you're staying safe and healthy. You can even make a behind the scenes time lapse video of you in a mask, baking and designing a cake from start to finish, just to show your customers how you're staying safe right now. You always want to make it super easy for customers to place an order with you as well. So no matter how you're marketing your bakery, it's always a good idea to look at everything from your customer's perspective. Use their language, answer frequently asked questions, add a personalized touch, and make them feel like they made the right choice in choosing you to create their dessert experience. All right, so those were a few tips on what you can do right now to get your name out there and get seen by local customers. If you want even more tips, make sure to download my Marketing During a Pandemic guide. Also, I want to help keep you accountable and challenge you to try one of these tips today. So let me know in the comments what you're going to do. If you have any questions, make sure to write them below. You can also send me a DM on Instagram at just because. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to check out all my other videos listed below.